this right here is the shaft the actuator shaft that goes into the VGT housing on your turbocharger on your 6.4 and I managed to snap off the little uh, tang that mounts the actuator rod to it it will be a lot easier to do this off the truck it's not impossible on the truck I don't think uh, it's the only tricky part if you're going to do this on the truck is going to be keeping the exciter ring from falling out so you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit this clamp right here holds the two parts the center section and your uh, exhaust housing together and that's an 11 millimeter wrench I'm just going to pull this clamp right out just to make life a little easier. Just be gentle if you're going to do the same thing, try not to stretch it out too much. <clears throat> okay, now you got to separate these two housings. You can see there's a right along here, there's a, a joint. These need to come apart. This is going to be a little bit of a hammer and screwdriver deal here. Okay. I don't know if it shows up that well on camera, but this is starting to open up. So, what I'm going to do is come over to this side. Hammer that back in. And you'll notice it opened up a little bit on this side. So then I can just take a screwdriver, put it in here. I'm not going to pry. I'm just going to use it to wedge. Okay, she's starting to come apart pretty nicely now. All right, at this point, you really want to uh, scan this thing up if you can. It's pretty awkward, but... If you have it sitting vertical, then the exciter ring isn't going to fall out on you. It's not the end of the world if it happens, but there's a whole bunch of little forks inside here that you have to line. And uh, especially if it's sitting horizontally, it's a real pain in the butt. So avoid it if you can. If you can't, it's not the end of the world. So... Might start to loosen up with a little bit of light prying. You don't want to get aggressive with this. You don't want to go getting it all cattywampus and cockeye as well. Because then things could break. Okay, all right, we have two pieces of turbo. So that's what the guts of the VGT look like in your 6.4. This little square here just turns, and that's what your shift fork is going to be actuating. And you can see here there's I'm not going to take this out, like I say, it's a bit of a pain, but there's uh, little forks that, uh, there's little little squares like this on the back side of this exciter ring all the way around, and these little forks here are just uh, finger, they're, they're grabbing the, those little squares, and you can see, you move it like this, and the whole thing moves, and that changes the veins inside here. So, put this aside. Okay, this is the side that you're actually working on. You can see here is the piece 
that's broken and there is nothing actually holding that in right now so you should be able to just push it through pry it out gently as usual there it is I'm gonna throw a little bit of G96 on this just because I don't uh, want any real resistance when I'm showing this thing in there plus it smells like eggnog That's it. Easy peasy. It just doesn't get much easier than this. 6.4s are such a bugger to work on. But this, this is easy. This is one of the easiest jobs you will ever do on a 6.4. Putting it back together is basically just the exact same thing as when he took it apart. Try to get the uh, cider ring basically in its zero position here, lined up more or less with this bolt up top, and uh, and square sitting ready to accept this housing. Now you're going to have, uh, there's a little pinhole right here, and there's just a little uh, roll pin sitting in the bottom of the uh, housing here. You line up the hole with the roll pin, and that's it. It doesn't get much simpler than that. So you don't even have to worry too much about clocking it. Don't go smacking on it until you confirmed that it's found its home. Have a look through here. Yeah, I'm a little off. Right there. Okay, that's probably good enough. Get this clamp toss back on. I like to do this in stages a little bit where I'll uh, get this clamp tightened up some and then instead of just really reefing on it I'll get it a little bit tight like this and then stand it back up and do some more tapping. This way, 
This way I'm not uh, relying just on the clamp. See that got loose a little bit there. I'm not relying just on the clamp to suck these two halves tight because they get pretty tight towards the end. Okay. That's it. You now have a brand new VGT shaft. I just want to dress this joint between the two turbo charges right here. I've read online a lot of times the guys will get into their 6.4s and they'll see that there's no bolts in here. And, uh, and that causes some concern. There's not supposed to be any bolts in here. If you see bolts in, in this, it means somebody's actually already been monkeying around with your truck. From the factory, this was used with a uh, lifting uh, bracket. So they bolt the bracket through into here. This was part of how they assembled the turbos to make them tight. And they just attach a lifting bracket here because apparently they're too heavy to lift. And they just hoist them up, install them take the bracket off and then obviously you're taking the bolts off to take the bracket off and then just leave it because it's not going to come apart anyways so if you see bolts in here it's because somebody's been in it already and if you don't see bolts in here don't worry they're not supposed to be there i just put these in here to make sure that when i took this all out that it wasn't going to shift i just didn't want this joint loosening up while i was taking it out of the truck 